it's Jackie from Pocket of Preschool. I'm super excited you're joining me tonight on this fabulous Wednesday evening. So tonight we are talking all about a community helper theme. And I have been doing it, um, the community helper theme for the past two weeks in my classroom. So we're finishing it up on Friday. Because I, um, I teach a half day classroom out of my home and it meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings. And before that, I taught full day in a public school, and it was five days a week. So that's a little bit about me. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on in and get started. But Oh, before I do that, go ahead and share this out to your friends so they can um, come join us too. Because if you are in our Facebook group, I have a freebie for you. So make sure you um, watch till the end or hop over to the group after this or join the group to make sure you get your community helper um, freebie. Okay, so um, for the community helper theme, we um, it was a broad one for me. I've never done a community helper theme before. So um, I, um, I decided to kind of break it up. Like each day, we kind of did a different helper. Um, so the first day we did it, we talked about firemen and um, firewomen because our pretend area is um, our dramatic play center is a um, fire station which grab my fire house um, fire station dramatic play kit in my TBT store so um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and I'll show you what we did to get um, started on our community helper theme so um, the first day we did the first day of our theme we did um, fire firemen and firewomen. So in the art center, I put out um, I put out these little flames and then what they did was they squeezed some red and some orange paint on there and they finger painted them to get some fine motor in. And then I haven't actually hung them up yet. <laughs> you can tell I still have my stack. Um, so we, that was the art center and we read it circle I'm brave. And it was a really good book to talk about the feeling brave. Um, so to add in that social emotional component and talk about um, what, what does brave mean? What does it look like? Um, and then we also made this um, at the end of, so at our second circle, we made this chart all about firefighters. So we talked about what and what they can do and then what they are, which is, and we talked about how um, being brave and just some other things that kind of look like being brave. This um, anchor chart is in my fire station dramatic play pack. But you can make one even if you don't have the little headers. Um, and then for table time that morning, um, I made these sensory paint bags. So all I did was I put red, orange, and yellow paint inside and then I, I, um, I sealed it closed with some tape. And then what I did was they picked one of these fire letters and these are in my community helpers math and literacy centers pack in my TBT store. So they picked a letter and then they made it. I can't push very hard because I have one handed. So they made their letters in the sensory bag. So it's just another fun way to write letters. Um, and this also if you're a kinder teacher this also comes with um, lowercase fire letters and it comes with sight words. Um, so you can take it to the next level with your kinder friends. So that was what we did kind of to start our unit. And then the second day, we kind of backtracked. And we just talked about community helpers as like a broad theme. And then for the morning table time, we did these community helper puzzles. And we also did these community helper um, math maps. So they traced the number with the dry erase marker and then they got out these little target erasers and counted those out and put those on there. And these are in my community helpers um, math and literacy pack too. Um, Lisa's asked what's in the sensory bags. Um, in the sensory bags, there's just red, yellow, and orange paint. I just squeezed some of these, um, some paint in there and zipped it up. It's super simple. Um, hair gel is really fun and um, writing bags too. At circle time, the second day, we read places in my neighborhood, and we, um, at the second circle, we read whose tools are these, which is really cute. The kids had to guess based on um, the tools what community helper it was, because community helper is kind of a big term for little friends. So um, we really had to talk about like what that was, 
who community helpers are. Um, so talk about the, just that big broad term. And this is a great nonfiction book because it talks about all the different places and talks about the doctor um, and it's diverse. So I love this um, places in my neighborhood and it's written by Shelly Lyons. And then for small group that day, we made community helper um, maps. So I just cut up some squares and they glued those on and then they made the paths with um, a white <clears throat> a white crayon. So they made some maps. So you can tell this is a, a three-year-old and I have a multi-age classroom. So this is a pre-K friend and this is a three-year-old. Hi Pam. At the easel we did, um, and I am having a little bit of um, signal issue. Um, I, instead of having regular paint brushes, they're kind of stuck in there. Hmm. Why won't they come up? Because I've had them in there all week, probably. Um, I just, I put, I found these at the dollar store. So they're just regular paint brushes. So they can paint with the real painter's paintbrush. Because a painter is a community helper, right? So I just put regular paint brushes in at the easel. And they loved that this week. And if you um, want this easel routine, it's a great visual. This is a freebie in my TBT store <clears throat> if you want to um, grab that. And yeah, I would say most of these activities are okay for two year olds. They're, it's just gonna, you're just gonna do it a little bit shorter amount of time because you know their attention spans are a little bit shorter. So my firehouse. So here is our fire station. So we got our truck at the back. We have our sign. And then we have our little 911 station. Operator, 911 operator station. So um, they could either be a fire person or a 911 operator. And they love this thing. They really, um, their pretend play was um, at a much higher level than um, our past units. So this fire truck I just made with, it's just one of those um, boards from, those presentation boards from the Dollar Tree. And then all these printables are in my fire station dramatic play pack. And then I just taped some chairs to it. So that was our fire truck. I know some people have been posted in the group that they put kind of um, another piece on top of it and they put headlights on, which was really, really cute. Um, and then we have our emergency reports because I always try and add some kind of literacy component to um, each role. So the firefighters, they could write an emergency report after they um, fought the fire. And we have our fire extinguishers and our air tanks. And I make a lot of my props. Um, and these are these two beans. And then um, we have some road maps. And these are just on laminated. I just laminated them. And look, you can see my little friend um, traced one while he was sitting in his in fire truck. And they planned out their route. And then I have walkie talkies and fire hats. And then, because um, sometimes they were getting a little bit bored. Um, so I put these fire on the solo cup so they could build the fire and then they could knock it over, which was adding in a little bit of STEM and a little bit of um, science and building and construction to um, dramatic play. And this is my fire hydrant. It's just a Gatorade bottle. It's nothing fancy, but they loved pretending to hook the hoses up to it. And then our fire coats, they're from Melissa and Doug. I got them at Target. And then the fire can actually take out it's just plastic tablecloths I taped together, or stapled together. So they can take the fire out and they can put it in. Um, and then this is another one of those presentation boards again. And I just taped it together. Whoops, hit the chair, sorry guys. A lot of fun, they were putting the kitty cats in it and they were pretending to save the kitties. And we talked about different kinds of emergencies. So like there's an injured person, a vehicle fire, animal rescue. Um, and I know there's a lot of natural disasters happening right now, so this would be a good um, one to put in just so they can kind of express um, their feelings and emotions through play. Um, just to kind of get those feelings out there and you can observe them and see kind of just how they're doing. I own my own preschool, so I have bought all of these supplies. Um, and I this is my 12th year teaching. So I've been buying supplies for a while. <laughs> so um, I've been collecting for a while. So a lot of my stuff's Dollar Tree, um, and I've slowly bought some of the good stuff. Like you know, this is a little like Melissa and Doug Caddy. So I've been slowly buying some of that stuff. 
And then my 911 operator station. So they have the phone so we can practice dialing. So it says like dial 911 in emergency. And then on the inside, um, I can't show you guys because uh, there's a name and then there's a photo and then there's the child's number. And I really don't want to give out my students' um, phone <clears throat> for them. The phone book was a fun way for them to, um, even though it usually is mom's cell phone. And then I just put the sign on the front. And then so we have our, our little 911 operator station. So it's a great for fire safety. Um, to get some of those skills. On my block center, I on that road tape. Put it on the ground. Kind of, I kind of taped it so they can build. So that way they could build a building here in this hole, and then over here, and then that way if they wanted to drive the cars on the path, they could. Um, and they loved. I they really used this cardboard this time for um roofs on the different buildings. So just grab some cardboard and put that in your block center um, for so they can make levels. And then I have just some community helper cars. I actually purchased these this summer. Um, they're, all these are Melissa and Doug, so they'll, they're starting to get a little loved. Um, but they're just different community cars. Um, just use the ones you have. I know the dollar store has some too, um, but mine were, were I had for like six, seven years, and they were just horrible. So I had to pitch them and got some new ones. Um, so this is the freebie in the group. So I didn't have any signs and I didn't make any environmental print ones. I just didn't have time to find all those logos and I couldn't give them to you guys because they're all um, under copyright. So what I did was I made all these different ones. It's like this one's grocery store. And all I did was I taped it to the back of a Jenga block. And if you go to the um, pocket of preschool group. If you're not a member, just hop on in and join and I'll, um, I'll, I'll approve everybody after the live's over and you can make your own little sign. So I have like post office and dentist and grocery store. So these signs are great to add some literacy, to get them reading, to get them making their own sign. whole, whole bunch of different signs. And so these are in the group. If you go to the pocket of preschool group, on the left side, there's a tab that says files, and those are in there. And there's some other fun stuff in there, too, like a plate, my favorite Play-Doh recipes in there. Oops, those are taped together. And then we've, we've only played with these for about a week, so I'm sure they're going to get a little bit more loved as the year goes on, like restaurant, police station, construction site, um, auto shop. So just a whole bunch of different signs. Fire station. So yeah, go ahead and grab these um, in the group. And then on my board, I just have my stem I can build. I just grabbed, I'm having a connection issues, guys. Sorry about that. So I just grabbed these. Um, they're from my basic I can build pack, and it's like a town and a skyscraper and a garage. So I just grabbed the ones, I'm going a little fast, sorry, guys. I just grabbed the ones that um, are that they see around in our community, and then my friends lately have really been referring to this I can build chart. Like I had my little cutie pie three year old was coming over to this today all by himself independently um, because I've been modeling this for a couple weeks now. Well, he was coming over here and he didn't say a word. He was just, he just came over here and he was pointing all by himself and he picked something and he went and built it because I after he built it um, I asked him and he said he built a house and he pointed to the I can build chart. That's in my TPT store. So in this road tape, you can get on Amazon or at Target. What kind of... <clears throat> so here's kind of a backup view of my center. All right. In my sensory table, I did like a recycling theme. This is just um, paper bedding from Walmart. Um, and then I put little tissue paper in it. And then I have my gator tweeter, tweezer glove. And then I just have some little garbage and recycling. Cars. I got these at the dollar. These are off Amazon. And then these are actually pencil holders I found off Amazon. And these are from my kiddos one garbage truck. <laughs> I snuck it in. So yeah, this is just pet bedding and they have loved this so, so much. Um, when we were doing, we focused on construction workers for um, a day-ish, a day and a half-ish. Um, so one thing I did was I just grabbed, I think I showed you guys this week, and last week in my scissor skills, um, Facebook Live, I um, just grabbed some paint symbols and they have just been, you can see they've been clipping all of those. 
and they just fun. And then we played this letter pack game that's from my Math and Literacy Center's pack. And we read Old MacDonald Had a Woodshop, and we read Alphabet Under Construction, and I had them, as we read, write their letters as an assessment during circle. So, and, and it made the book interactive. Hold on. So, um, I went to, um, to our construction. So, I, had, I bought these golf tees at Target, and I bought them for next week when we're going to do fall. And we're going to put them in the pumpkin. But I just wrote on some of that cardboard I had. And I wrote letters on there. And they, um, for small groups, they had to say the letter. And then they could, you know, hammer it in. I can't do it with one handed. But, <laughs> yeah. So they just hammered them in. There we go. And they can just hammer it in. So it's great fine motor. And they were doing letters. And it's um, really working on that pincer, skill, pincer graph. As they were holding on to those golf tees. So that was really, really fun. We did um, a garbage. We talked about garbage trucks and recycling one day, which you know they love that. Um, we did the newspaper collage for table time one morning. So I just put some strips of newspaper out and they just cut them up and then they put some dots on them. We have a garbage truck rhyme game. So they, we, um, I actually didn't have time to do this with them, um, but you just rhyme it to so like bat, bat, <laughs> cat. So you just put the trash in. And you match up the rhyming words. And then paper books. Um, could you do the golf tees numbers too? Absolutely. You could also do them with shapes. That would be really, really fun. Um, Debbie asks, where do I grab the cards for labeling the block center? My, Those are my in my STEM pack in my TPT store. Um, click on freebies and you will find them there. Or you'll find it if you click on STEM. Um, don't forget about grabbing your floor puzzles. I know um, floor puzzles are really fun and they love them. So go. I went ahead and grabbed my community helper ones. Um, that I had. Um, we talked about um, doctors and vets and dentists for about a day and a day and a half ish. Um, we did a X-ray Play-Doh tray. So this is my black Play-Doh, and shh, don't tell the kids. This is what, what we used for space like a couple weeks ago, and I kept it. Um, so because I haven't really had anybody sick yet, so to needed to throw it away. So I just had black Play-Doh, and then I had a dog cookie cutter, and I had a hand. And then a little gingerbread man, so they use that as a person. And then these were the bones. And then these were the little the little head bones. So they made x-ray um, dogs and people and then hands with the um, pipe cleaners and the play-doh. So that was really fun. And these are the books we read. And then one morning um, for table time, I just had um, all these writing papers out on the table. And I had markers and um, dot markers and they got to write and I actually um, I'm going to keep it for their portfolios. And all of my math and literacy centers have um, themed writing paper with them. Okay, so this was one of the funnest things and they've been playing this over and over and over. I call it Dirty Tooth. <laughs> it's kind of a silly name. But they roll the dice and then they take that many pom-poms and put them on the tooth. And then when it's all full at the end, they can brush the tooth off and get it clean with a toothbrush. So, and none of my kids put their toothbrush, toothbrushes in their mouth, which I was really excited about. So that was really fun. And um, one way I differentiate on my games, and this is in my, my Community Helpers pack too, um, this dice just has one, two, and three on it. Doesn't go up to six. And then this dice does go up to six. So my little friends use the dice that only goes up to three, and then my bigger friends use that one. And then we also, um, you can kind of see it's still on here, we um, did a veterinar veterinarian graph and then we also had a lifeguard one. So we did that one. It's an activity too. All right, where am I going next? Okay, over here. So today we talked a lot about bakers and farmers and chefs, which is having a little preschooler say chef is hilarious. They're like, chef, chef, because that, that CH is kind of hard um, for them. So uh, we read Pizza at Sally's. And I love Monica Wellington. These books are awesome. These are some of my favorite, favorite books. And she measures and mixes. And it's a really like step-by-step -step book. So if you're working on what happens first, second, third, um, you know, doing sequins, these books are really great for that. And we talked about Apple Farmer Annie. So we talked about how the farmers grow it on the farm. And then the, um, the bakers and the chefs use the food to bake our food. 
Where did I get the trays for the extra activity? So all of these trays are from the Dollar Tree. They're, um, I have them in like every color. You just gotta um, watch for them. Are um, in my Community Helpers Math and Literacy Pack. And then for table time, this was like so much fun. I'm gonna have to do this more. Um, I just put magnet letters out on the table in the middle. And then I put out, I have these veggie counters. So I put these out in the middle and then I put a pot at each, at each chair with a little ladle or spoon. Everybody had different. Some people had bowls, some people had um, pots, everybody had everything. And then I had a color dice. Because some of my friends really need some one-to-one -one correspondence help. Sorry, I got purple on my hand. You can tell I'm a teacher. Um, so they rolled the dice and they did yellow. And so they grabbed, whoops, and then they told me the letter H and they put it in their soup. Or they could grab a veggie. So I got them talking about letters and we were matching colors and they were doing one-to-one -one correspondence. So um, these I found at my local teacher store and you can also find them on Amazon because I need to buy a couple more. Some of them got lost. Um, and these pots and pans are from Ikea. They're like super cheap. They're just like the Melissa and Doug ones, but tons, tons cheaper. <clears throat> so that was like super fun. Like they, they want me to do it again like another day. Um, these are donut cards and number cards. And we just worked on matching and so I had these num cards on, on like like on this table. So they went like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they either had to match the number or the quantity, and it goes up to ten. So you can kind of see all the little donut cards. So they really like that game this morning too. And I have two table times and two circles because eventually I'll have a longer table time. But right now their attention span is so short. I don't, I break it up into two table times because our table time is about a half hour. So we do one table time and then we move to the next table. And then this is our alphabet soup, um, or our stew letters. So we did this as small group and I gave out the cards and um, we actually, this was our first time doing a letter sort. So I literally just had this one in the middle and we were sorting and they were saying like, does X have a hole? Yes or no? And they were telling me the letters. I gave my pre-K kids the lowercase and I was giving my, my little guys the uppercase we were sorting those and it does have other sorting um, ways. We're just not ready for that yet. Like uppercase, lowercase in my name, curvy. So th that was a fun one. They really liked that. They were, they've been like loving all this chef and um, stuff today. <coughs> oh, my writing center. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. So my book, cause um, a lot of my books I had on the tables to show you guys. So I do change my bookshelf out for every theme. And then this is my writing desk for this theme. So um, the tables from Ikea and this, this is um, just a coffee table, like a super, super little one. So um, since I have a pre-K um, class, I have all the community helpers. Um, they're in uppercase, but I do have lowercase also. So I um, have both and then Oh, look at my little friend. So I just have the, all the different community helper paper and they had so much fun with this today. I had <laughs> I had a three-year-old make like, like left wing one. And he's for sure like at that scribbling stage, but he was like loving it and having that, building that confidence um, at table, or um, I'm trying to think what else. I think that's all I got for you guys tonight. I know, okay. So yeah, I think that's it. I think I got everything. So now don't forget, oh, and how do I do my storage? Everybody always asks that. Community Helpers is a new theme. So, sorry. I buy these um, I buy these tubs. They're from Michael's. You can get them on sale. I usually, if they're a sale, usually somebody in the group posts it and not, we're, we all go buy stock in them. <laughs> um, and these little labels um, are in the, Facebook group files as a freebie too. And and you guys just do me a big huge favor and don't share the um, Facebook files. Just have people join the group and they can have them. So what I keep in here, oh, and this is what we're gonna do on the next day. It's um it's it's just different measuring. It's a measuring thing. And then we're also gonna measure with these stamp rulers. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. And I'm gonna go get some real packages from the post office to end our theme on Friday. So I take my community helpers 
I hope, take the pack and I put it on a book ring because I just, I'm not a binder girl. So I just take it and I put the direction page and then anything behind it. So like there's the direction page and then all the printables are behind it. Direction page, printables, because um, all my, most of um, the games in my packs have worksheets. Put them if you want them. And then direction pages, worksheets, direction pages, worksheets. So it just keeps going in Emergent Readers. So I have all of that. I keep on a book ring and just in my box. And then I keep any extra things in there. And then like here's um, some counters I have in here. Um, I'll, if I have any STEM things, I'll, any STEM I can build posters, I throw those in there. Like here's my fire printable. Here's a map example. And normally my, this box is like bust and full. But this is the first year I've done a community helper theme. So um, I'm building this file or this um, theme box this year. So that's been fun. And Lisa says, what do I mean by table time? So in the morning, Lisa, when we come in, um, and they come in that door right there, what they do is they come in the door, and then they put their stuff away, they answer the question of the day, and they sign in. And then on these two tables, I have one activity set up. And they do that activity while everybody's coming in, and um, they play that activity, and then we clean it up real quick. And then we do another table time activity, and then we do music and the rest of our day. So it's just a kind of like starter activity. It's always something they can do independently. I'm gonna switch it. So it's always something they can do independently. That way if I need to talk to a mom or dad. In the Facebook group, there, excuse me, there, in the Facebook group there's a list of all my Facebook Live um, videos. And there is, I have done a Facebook Live on table time. So if you wanna know more about table time, you can hop on over and watch. All right, and sorry about the connection issues, guys. So if I seem like I'm pausing, I am, because it says, trying to reconnect. <laughs> okay, so that's today. Tonight was all about community helpers. All the printables are in, they're in my community helpers pack, or they're in my fire station dramatic play pack. And, then, and you guys have a fabulous night.